Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matuklasan. Sa video na to, ipapakita ko kung paano mag-solve ng mga problems gamit ng mga properties at formulas about polygons. Dito sa problem na to, given ang sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon which is 540 degrees. At ngayon, kailangan natin hanapin yung number of diagonals ng polygon na to, yung measurement of each center angle, yung perimeter, yung area at yung apothem ng polygon. Kung babalikan nyo yung mga formulas na pinag-usapan natin sa previous video, mapapansin nyo doon na ang laging variable na nag exist dun sa mga formula ay yung n or yung number of sides. So dito, pwede nyo na maging clue natin para masolve natin yung remaining na unknown. Dito kasi ang given ay yung sum ng interior angles na 540 degrees. So baka naman gagamitin lang natin yung formula ng sum ng interior angles para makuha yung value ng n or yung number of sides. At ang formula para sa sum ng interior angles is I sub S pertaining to the sum of interior angles equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Ang I sub S natin so, sa given natin ay yung 540 degrees. So ibig sabihin pag ginamit natin yung formula, 540 degrees is equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So, tama nga. Kapag ginamit natin yung formula ng sum of interior angles, makukuha natin yung missing value, which is n. So, ang gagawin natin para makuha natin yung value ng n dyan is to divide both sides by 180 degrees. Dividing both sides by 180 degrees, 540 divided by 180 is 3, equals n minus 2. Transpose natin yung minus 2 sa kabila para maging 3 plus 2 siya equals n. And n now is 5. Kaya naman ang ibig sabihin nito, regular pentagon or pentagon yung hinahanap natin na figure. At dahil alam na natin yung n natin which is equal to 5, masosolve na natin yung number of diagonals. So ang n natin ay 5. So ang formula ay 5 divided by 2 times n minus 3, so 5 minus 3. Kailangan lang natin i-simplify yan. 5 minus 3 here is just 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang d natin or number of diagonals ay 5. Bilangin natin. So, we have here 1. Then, we have the second diagonal here. We have the third, the fourth, and the fifth. Diagonal. So, tama. 5 diagonals nga. Hindi nga lang straight yung drawing ko, pero 5 diagonals yan. Confirm. Sa central angle naman, para makuha natin, kailangan lang natin i-divide yung 360 degrees sa N. So, yung central angle natin is 360 degrees divided by N. Ang N natin ay 5. Divide natin yan sa 360 and we'll get 72 degrees. So, ibig sabihin, yung central angle sa ating pentagon ay... 72 degrees. Kung ipapakita natin yan, ito yung ating center, then each of the central angle measures 72 degrees. Siyempre, lima lahat yung central angle na yan. Dito naman, kailangan lang natin ma-identify yung perimeter ng polygon if the side is 7. At ang formula ng perimeter is just equal to S times N. Remember that we have a regular polygon here, kaya pwede natin gamitin tong formula na to. Eh, paano naman kapag ka-irregular? Well, all you need to do is to add all the sides. But since regular polygon na to, we'll have P, S, which is 7 centimeters in this given, and N is 5. So in short, we have 35 centimeters na perimeter. Kalimutan ng unit natin, syempre. Dito naman sa area, dalawang choices natin. Pwede natin gamitin yung area equals 1 half perimeter times apothem or itong mahaba na to. At dito, perimeter meron tayo. Pero ang apothem, wala pa tayo. So, ang gagamitin natin ay yung pangalawang formula. So, the area now is equal to S squared. So, 7 centimeter squared times N, which is 5. And then, over 4 tangent, 180 degrees divided by 5, which is the value of n. 
Uh, make sure na yung calculator nyo ay naka-degree mode or deg mode para maging tama yung sagot natin. Kasi ang ginagamit dito ay degrees. That's why the answer should be 84.30. Siyempre, na-squared ito. So, this is cm squared. Rounded off ito to two decimal places. Dito naman sa apotem, S lang ang kailangan at saka N. So, ang S natin ulit ay 7 centimeters at ang N natin ay yung 5 pa din. So, the apotem is equal to 7 centimeters divided by 2 tangent this time. Then, we have 180 degrees divided by 5. Huwag kayo nagpapalito dun sa coefficient ng tan kasi kanina sa area it's 4, ba? So, dito 2 na siya. So, the answer is 4.82 centimeters. Meron tayong alternative na solution if ever nakuha na natin yung perimeter tsaka yung area. So, ang isang formula ng area ay area is equal to 1 half perimeter times the apotem. So, kung mapapansin nyo, nauna na natin nakuha yung area kanina which is 83 point or 84.30 cm squared. Then, the perimeter is 35. And we are looking for the value of A. So, pwede nyo gamitin itong formula na to as an alternative. Pero, syempre, dito kasi, uh, ito na kaagad ang makukuha yung value. Pero, kung sakaling nakalimutan yung formula ng apothem, at may nakuha naman kayong perimeter at area, pwede nyo gamitin itong formula na to. So, pag ginamit natin itong formula na to, all we need to do is to divide both sides by 35 here. Cancel in 35 dito. So, we have 84.30 divided by 35. Then, we have 1 half A here. Or, pwede namang A over 2 na lang. Then, cross multiply 2 there. We'll have A equals 2 times 84.30 divided by 35. And, this should also give you 4.82 centimeters. And to illustrate the value that we got, so kung halimbawa ito yung ating central angle at magdodrawing tayo ng apothem dito, ang length nito ay 4.82 centimeters. Ayan. Dito naman, kailangan natin ma-determine yung perimeter of a regular polygon whose one side measures 3.75 inches and each central angle naman na meron siya ay 40 degrees. Para makapag-solve tayo ng mga two steps problem kagaya ng mga ganito, kailangan natin ma-identify yung kailangan natin. So, yung central angle is 40 degrees. Tapos, yung 3.75 naman ay measure ng isang side. So, this is the value of S. Kaso, ang dinidetermine natin ay perimeter. At ang formula ng perimeter is S times N. So, meron na tayong S. Wala ng problema sa S. Kaso, wala tayong N. So, dito, baka naman magagamit natin yung formula ng central angle, which is 40 degrees. Diba? At ang formula ng central angle ay 360 degrees divided by N. So, kung, kung ang given na ter, uh, central angle is 40 degrees, papalitan ko lang ito ng 40 degrees, then we'll have the equation 360 degrees over N. At pag gagamitin natin to, mahanap natin yung value ng N. By interchanging the places of this one, by cross-multiplication, we'll have N equals 360 degrees divided by 40. O diba? Ang dali. Nagbaliktad ko lang. Now, N is equal to 9 because 360 divided by 40 is 9. Okay. Now, i-determine na natin yung perimeter. Find the perimeter na tayo. So, P is equal to S times N. S here is 3.5. 75 inches and I just need to multiply it to 9 so that the answer is 33.75 inches Yan. for our third problem we need to give the name of a regular polygon with 104 diagonals so syempre para ma-name natin yung polygon na to kailangan natin yung number of sides. At ang diagonal ay may formula na n over 2 times n minus 3. So, kung ang diagonal natin na d ay 104, ang working equation natin ay n over 2 times n minus 3 equated to 104.
4. And all we need to do is to solve for n. Kaso, paano natin isosolve yan? Well, pagka minultiply ko itong 2 sa 1 of 4, <coughs> or by multiplying both sides by 2. So, we have 2 times 104, which is 208. 1 na yung 2 dito. Then, we'll have n times n minus 3. Distribute natin yung n dito, and we'll get 208 equals n squared minus 3n. At kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong quadratic equation. At mas madaling isolve ang quadratic equation pagka nilagay natin lahat sa isang uh, side yung lahat ng terms except for 0. So pag tinanonspose ko yung 208 dito, magiging minus 208 siya dito sa kabila. Now, paano natin masasolve yung n? Maraming paraan para masolve ang mga quadratic equations kagaya nito, di ba? Pero yung pinaka sikat yung quadratic formula. Kung di kaya ng factoring or trial and error, quadratic formula kayo. Para mahanap natin yung n, kailangan lang natin gamitin yung formula na negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. At dito sa given natin, ang a is equal to 1 dahil ang coefficient ng n squared ay 1. Ang b naman ay negative 3. So we have negative 3 here. At ang C naman ay negative 208. Ayan. So A, B, and then C. Siyempre, pag ganyan, pwede na natin gamitin yung formula natin. At pagka sinabsitute na natin yung B, we have negative 3 here. Plus or minus negative 3 squared minus 4 A, C square root lahat yan, and we have here 2 times a, which is just equal to 2 times 1. Yan na yun. So, pag ginamit natin yung calculator natin, at ginamit nyo halimbawa yung plus, ang possible na makuha nyo dito ay 16. At yung isa namang value kapag ka minus ang ginamit natin, ang magiging sagot ay negative 13. At syempre, since number of sides ang hinahanap natin, or yung value ng n, dapat ang pipiliin natin sagot yung positive na value, which is 16. So, ang number of sides na meron tayo sa ating polygon ay 16. At anong pangalan ng polygon na to? Ang mga polygon na greater than 10 ay ginagamitan ng decagon at lalagyan lang natin na prefix na hexa. Hexa for 6. So, the name of the polygon is hexa decagon. For our last problem, the areas of two similar polygons are 81 square units and 144 square units, respectively. If a side of the larger polygon is 36 units, find the corresponding side of the smaller polygon. So, dito, involve yung mga similar polygons. And to be specific, no, nagbigay siya ng area na 81 square units or 144 square units. So, kung mapapansin natin, or kung babalikan natin yung discussion na meron tayo in the previous video, ang formula na ginagamit natin dito ay x over y squared equals a sub 1 over a sub 2. Wherein, the area of a sub 1 and a sub 2 are the areas of the two similar polygons. And of course, x and y are their corresponding sides. And this time, ang hinahanap natin yung... Um, side ng smaller polygon. So here, let x be the side of the smaller polygon. So we have here x. And then y is the side of the larger polygon. So the larger polygon is, has or has 36 units. So divided by 36 lang ito. Naka square yan. Then we'll have a sub 1 and a sub 2. Remember, dapat ang katapat ng x, which is the smaller side, ay yung kanyang area. At ang smaller area dito ay 81 square units. So, 81 yung nandito sa itaas. Siyempre, yung nasa baba, nagko-correspond sa 36 units na side, which is 144 square units. Yan lang, ba? So, pag ginawa natin yan, square mo lang yung x. Kakaroon tayo ng x squared dito. Then, we have here 36 squared. Ayan. Then we have 81 or 
Yan, napasobra ako. 81, then we have 144. Uh, Pag sinimplify natin yung 36 squared, it's 1,296. Then we have 81 over 144. Multiply natin yung 1296 sa kabila. So we'll have x squared equals 81 times 1296 over 144. And finally, get the square root of both sides. And this will give us a value of 27. Siyempre, 27 units yan. And that's all for this video. Kung gusto nyo pa ng mga solutions sa mga problems involving polygons, you may drop your comments down below. At para magawa natin ng part 2 ang ating video. Maraming salamat sa pakikinig. At please, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe, like, at mag-hit ng notification bell para sa inyong updates. See you in the next video. 